Okay, so um, uh, this is a question on uh, how prayer could be used as a, as a distraction or as an avoidance um, in, uh, uh, in, in using it as a tool to release aspects of the ego. So can, the, can prayer be actually used as an avoidance, uh, as a distraction, and can one be holding one's breath while doing it? Well, part of it is that you want to be able to um, um, really, um, it can be used as a distraction. Um, if uh, So you want to be using prayer. Um, now, if it's being used as a distraction, um, there'll be kind of like a defiant energy, like, um, or uh, it could be, for example, one is challenging God or the Holy Spirit, uh, but really one doesn't want to let go. So it's a dishonest, dishonest praying. It's like, uh, 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 I pray for a miracle that all my suffering and limitation be released, but it's more like, uh, it's more like a demand or a challenge or a defiance in there. And that kind of energy, it's not sincere. So that would be, um, or it could be like, you know, one can have a defiance against the course of miracles. You know, it says like, uh, do it every hour to the best of your ability and forgive yourself if you can't. Well, that could, uh, you know, sometimes the ego gives demands to the, to the process, to the Holy Spirit uh, and is challenging or is defiant. Um, and if those motives are, then one has to become aware of that and clear those three. You can clear those through the Course of Miracles and prayer as well. Um, sometimes at a certain point, uh, there are layers of praying where it, one can come. For example, if one is now so advanced with the prayer that one should really be moving into more silence and stillness and beingness. And so now one is getting so evolved that has, one has been doing the course for so long that one should be now moving into greater periods of uh, no thought or not identifying with thoughts uh, or just doing the observer or the field of feelings practice, because that will take you to the next level of, um, uh, and the ego is hiding in having something mental to do. Now that can be something, so at a certain point, Praying is not the right thing or the thing that one can be do. It can be used as a way not to go to the next level of letting go of the addiction. Um, so the praying now, because the egos, I mean, it happens in, in me with certain spiritual things. It's like, I'd rather do an easy spiritual process than a difficult one. Like just trying to let go of the thoughts and being in silence. It's easier actually to pray. The ego, if you give the choice to the ego, uh, would you rather pray or try and just let go of your addiction to thought and be in silence. It will probably just choose the one that is easier to do, which is less going to create less ego damage. So at a certain point, uh, one intuitively uh, will, um, it, it can be used as an avoidance because the ego doesn't want to do the more difficult spiritual uh, practice or intention. So that can also happen can be used as a distraction. Um, usually, I would say, well, it can be used as a distraction if that's the intention. Um, usually, a dishonest, a dishonest way, which I'd say is a distraction, is um, it's it's um, it's kind of like um, the motive for doing it is not is not for spiritual release. So it's more like Oh, yeah, I, I get it, distraction. So it's more like the ego is saying in the background, I'm in pain, but I don't want the root of this illness, uh, this, this thought to really be taken away. This happens in 12-step groups. Um, I'm in uh, one for food. And you'll get this from uh, people who come and you tell them it's a spiritual solution. They'll say, I, keep, I do actually really want to eat the cake, carry on eating the cake, but I want to be thin and have no negative pain. So it's kind of a dishonest, you know, it's more like I want my reward without the pain. So when the ego has such a motive, it can lead to either um, 
because obviously uh, divinity is omniscient, so you can't really fool the Holy Spirit. So it goes, uh, it's not it's not really sincere. Um, so, uh, but at certain stages of the journey, um, if you're getting an intuition that one is using prayer as a distraction or as a mental thing to stop further spiritual progress, then that could be right. It could be the Holy Spirit is trying to give you an intuition like you should be doing. My thing is often there's certain spiritual practices which are so ego painful, uh, like sitting in silence or um, trying to let go, be mindful to let go of the addiction to just constantly being thoughts, always being busy, that the, the ego at a certain level of involvement can use the, the prayer to keep <clears throat> itself going. Um, so, um, so that can be also a subtle aversion at certain levels of uh, spiritual development. So, um, yep, I'll stop there.